Nancy and the Meerkats. Bonjour. This is our new track. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Nancy and the Meerkats. Merci. <laughs> Nancy and the Meerkats are in Norfolk on their sellout tour. After another brilliant gig, Nancy's making the girls a snack back in the tour bus. <laughs> what's going on here? <coughs> and what's with all this smoke? Just making a few bacon and jam butties for the band. It's my very own invention, you know. The trick is to get the bacon extra specially crispy. Um, you're sizzling more than the bacon there. It's the curtains. You're cooking the curtains. Oh, no. There's a fire. 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 Don't panic. No one panic. <laughs> Phew. I think that's one invention you need to rethink, Nancy. Thankfully, this fire extinguisher is a rather more successful invention. <laughs> and it's quite an old one, too. A really early type of fire extinguisher was invented in 1723. That's nearly 300 years ago. A bloke called Ambrose Godfrey came up with the idea. His main job was to make a very flammable chemical. Flammable? That means it catches fire easily, right? You got it. So you can see why he needed a handy way to put out fires. There is a saying that necessity is the mother of invention, which is a fancy way of saying... If you make things that explode, you need to invent a fire extinguisher. <laughs> the sort we use today, which has gas squeezed inside, was invented by George William Manby of Norfolk. He saw firemen struggling to put out fires and thought a portable way to do the job would solve the problem. Inventing is all about fixing problems. Hmm. <sighs> And my dumb bacon and jam butty invention just caused problems. Come on, no harm done, really. <sighs> well, imagine if that putrefying pussy Kitty Perry had seen me. How embarrassing would that be? <laughs> oh, she'd laugh her head off and say I couldn't even make a sandwich, let alone sing. I'm a failure. <sighs> Come on, cheer up, Nancy. You're certainly not a failure. Even the best inventors have a few setbacks. But what problems did my sandwich solve? None. No, that's rubbish! Well, the girls seem to think they were pretty tasty, so they solved the problem of being hungry. And you solved the problem of our ugly curtains too. <laughs> Nancy and the Meerkats, with support from the Intellectual Property Office. <laughs>